able to speak to uh, Bob uh, now, who uh, who joins us this morning. A very good morning to you. Hi, Colin. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. It feels this this feels like sort of a bit of a festive period, doesn't it? So I mean, it's not a, a festive special as such, but it, uh, you had a dog with you a moment ago. I think I saw. I don't, don't know whether I dreamt that, but I... yeah, a, a, a puppy Eddie who decided oh. right at that moment that he wanted to get in on the act, like a bit of a star himself. So, um, but uh, now I've just popped in the other room. <laughs> So, uh, what, how's how's uh, the the trust? Because I think uh, for people that don't know, it obviously plays a, a really important role role in the club, and and now to have have you as chair as well. Yeah, um, I mean tribute to uh, Nigel Kingston, who's been uh, captain of the ship, as it were, for the last few years, and um, he I took it on on the basis one that we would be in uh, less choppy waters, um, but also that um, he is still on board. Sorry about the pun. Uh, but very much so. And I've got, uh, you know, the six other board directors sort of helping me uh, with the work of the trust, which is, uh, you know, going on from strength to strength, really, and sort of uh, reinforcing the role of the trust and the role of the club within the community, particularly. And, and one thing, obviously, you're very keen to do is, is attract more supporters. Yeah, I think it's it's it, it's something that's really important to the whole of the uh, Wickham Wanderers family. Um, and um, as we're about to talk about, you know, we've just done an interview uh, for a new show for called Trust in the Blues um, for the uh, Wickham Wanderers Trust. And we were lucky enough that uh, Ella got to interview uh, Rob Kuig, the owner. And he's got some, you know, even more exciting, ambitious plans to try and attract sort of new and lap supporters to the club. Um, you know, I originally came at the recommendation of a neighbour 30 years ago with my son. Um, he's now in his 30s. And, uh, you know, we're still sort of coming every week and everything else and I, I think with the particularly with the changes that sort of rob's brought in recently whether it's you know the fireworks the better food the family days the uh, the, the ability to meet players and all of these things uh, combined together have really improved the match day experience at adams park and we want to get the word out there that you know perhaps if you haven't ever been to adams park perish the thought but uh, perhaps if you're a laps fan and particularly younger ones, we want to try and sort of generate a new uh, generation of uh, younger fans as well that can come along and really enjoy the experience. And as Rob says, you know, we, we, it's not just for the football fans, it's for the whole family. There's stuff there to enjoy. And it's we're lucky. We're really lucky that in Wickham we have our own team and, and a professional team in Division One, you know, has, in, at, has actually been as high as the championship. So it's, it's good quality football most of the time. And um, I think it's really, we want the, the, the town to come and support that. And we want the town to sort of come and enjoy this sort of match day experience that Rob and his expertise and his uh, American ideas and, and stuff has made the, 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 the whole match day experience all the more marvellous. And a good way to appeal to, to youngsters is to, is to use YouTube and uh, to get youngsters involved in, in presenting on a, on, a, on a channel or a show, perhaps. And uh, uh, people may not know, you're yourself a former, former TV executive, so, and, and you've done, we've spoken to you before, obviously, with your, with your role with Wickham High as well, and Wickham High TV, which has been really successful too. Yeah, we had, you know, Wickham High TV uh, set up really during COVID, but um, we built on that. It went from strength to strength and was sort of... Uh, I like to think instrumental in winning us the Sunday Times Parent Power Secondary School of the Year. Um, you know, the Wickham High TV, which is the country's only student-led school TV channel, was cited throughout the Sunday Times uh, nomination uh, that won us the uh, Secondary School of the Year for 2023. So we've only got a couple more weeks really to enjoy that. But yeah, Wickham High TV, I get a great buzz out of it. I get as much excitement as I did working for ITV sort of making shows that were watched by millions, you know, um, it's, um, I get a real excitement and a joy really from the students and the fact that they are so talented and the, the, the work that they do for the TV uh, uh, channel um, is, is, just, is just wonderful. Um, students like Ella, who's with us here today, um, just really always, still now, sort of three and a half years on, still always surprise me with just how good they are. And Anna, great to talk to you, and, and thank you so much for joining us on your, on your school holidays. What was it like, uh, firstly, to be involved with, with Wickham High TV? Was that something you kind of uh, imagined you, you'd do, or is that just something you kind of discovered and thought, oh, I quite like this now? Yeah, it kind of just started a bit of a work experience week that I just started to work with Mr. Massey, and then, you know, got onto more things and interviewed more people, and I really just kind of fell into it, and it was just, yeah, kind of built up from then, and now obviously doing Trust in the Blues, it's just 
he's given me such good opportunities and I really am really grateful for that. And what was it like to be involved in, in the pilot of this show? Um, it was it was different. I mean, working with Freddie as well, um, new people and talking with Bob as well, like something that um, I just never thought I'd be able to do. Um, but it's been really fun and, you know, getting to learn about um, the football and obviously I'm not someone who knows a lot about it. But um, it's been really good. And um, yeah, I think a lot of younger people can kind of relate to what we're doing, which I think is really good. And what were some of the highlights for you for putting it together? Um, I just think seeing it all come together and doing little bits and it was kind of like a week long process, I'd say. So we had to get the script together and then film it, which was probably the most fun bit filming it. It's quite fun. And then um, surprising um, the local hero as well was definitely something that was just really exciting and just, you know, love to surprise people and see their faces when it happens. It was a really nice element. And Bob, it must be great to, to work with the actors and, and put that together with all the different elements of the show as well. Yeah, although it does have sometimes um, things that make you make me laugh a bit because I was trying to describe to Ella and uh, she's saying about the surprise. We basically want people to nominate local heroes, people that they think deserve um, some uh, match day tickets to four four match day tickets to come along and see uh, Wickham Wanderers at a game. And the first teacher that was nominated, the first person that was nominated was one of the teachers uh, nominated by uh, her year eight students who said that she was wonderful. So Ella uh, went to carry out the surprise and to try and sort of give a reference point. I said, so you'll be sort of going in a bit like Scylla Black. And of course, as I'm saying it, I realised <laughs> that I don't think Ella was alive at the same time as Scylla Black. So, you know. <laughs> I'm getting on a bit, but um, I'm sure Anton Dex probably a better reference. So that was a, a, a really uh, nice surprise to sort of uh, a, a carry out. We also celebrated the volunteers. Um, there's a whole army of volunteers that both on match day um, and uh, during the week that do everything from sort of, I don't know, painting the training ground to cutting down weeds, to operating the bars, to operating the car park, all of which of course saves the club money. But more importantly than that, really, I think it just adds to the sense of that Wickham Wanderers really is a family club, a real community club. And uh, and it's, it's it's really nice to be able to celebrate that and at the same time, uh, you know, convey that sense of family, sense of community, sense of fun to a wider audience. that Hopefully they'll come down and, and experience, as I say, the match day, the match day fun. And then really nice to be able to bring fans that sort of insight as well and behind the scenes and, and you know, obviously working with Freddie as well, that must be interesting too. Yeah, it was obviously I didn't know Freddie until we had to start filming together. But um, yeah, we got on along really well and it's just like, you know, bringing it all together and getting like a young face in front of it, which I think is really important because like I had fun doing it. So I think anyone could have fun, you know, getting in front of the camera, but also going to matches as well and getting involved. I think it's really good, really good for the community as well. It looks pretty, really professional. Was there anything that went wrong? Is there any sort of behind the scenes, anything you can tell us about? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I think Mr. Massey's definitely a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. If, 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 if you were being hypercritical, the microphone on Rob, um, were, I don't know whether he accidentally pulled, it was a Lavalier mic, and whether he actually accidentally pulled it out, but the, the sound on it wasn't great. And sound, as he knows, as you guys know more than anyone, <laughs> it's, it's just as important, if not more so, than the video. But I think we got away with it. I think we managed to pick it up on uh, Freddie's mic. Uh, but apart from that, no, I was really pleased. And, and what was also fantastic as well is that, you know, when I first went to Nicola Renyard, who you know well, you've interviewed her many times, Colin, um, and suggested this as an idea for, for the school to get involved in, she, in a heartbeat, sort of said, yeah, what a fantastic opportunity. Um, and then on my behalf, really, then approached uh, John Hamden School, which was just across the road, but just wanted to stress that sort of like moving forward, we want other six formers um, to come and join Ella and Freddie and become part of the Trust in the Blues uh, reporter and presenter pool, as it were. So if you're listening or if, and you are a six former at any local school in the South Bucks area or in and around Wickham, or indeed, if you know any six formers and you think, well, you know, they, they, they'd they make a really good sort of TV presenter, more than happy, please write to, uh, what can you write to? Win at www.st.org.uk. That's win at www.st.org.uk. Uh, love to hear from you in terms of, you know, if you're a six former and you want to sort of present uh, the show or indeed do some of the features and report on those. And of course, youngsters get really great skills from from doing it as well. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's that's we're trying to sort of create a buzz amongst uh, the younger uh, people in and around Wickham so that, um, you know, that they can a get some experience of television presenting, which obviously the Wickham High School students have been able to do for three and a bit years now. Um, but we want to sort of open that opportunity, as it were, up to other sixth formers from whichever schools, um, you know, ar around the Wickham area. Um, and at the same time, we also want to be able to celebrate local heroes um, as, uh, in the way that we sort of gave those tickets to the to, to the teacher after a year eight students nominated. So we want to hear from anyone. It could be your friends. It could be your neighbours. It could be your work colleagues. Anyone you think that would actually deserves a nice surprise and 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 we could turn up at uh, on their doorstep as it were and give them um those four tickets to to, to for a marvelous match day experience at adams park just like Scylla or anton deck depending on their age um and what do you hope to include in, in future episodes oh gosh there's so much to go at um we've got a feature coming up about the women's section which is the area also that the trust oversees uh, uh, nigel kingston's going to carry on sort of uh, overseeing that along with one of our other directors, uh, Tony Hector. Um, so we've got an interview with um, Carl, who's the um, head coach of the women's section. Uh, we're going to look at some of the, uh, a, a guy called Alan Hodgson, whose son featured in the first episode. He operates the, 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 um, the, the car parks. Um, I think we're also lined up an interview with um, the uh, Wickham Wanderers Foundation, because they do a lot of work in the local community, whether it's sort of uh, uh, sessions in schools, um, there's a sort of a, a wellness, uh, a mental mental health wellness uh, group that they organise. Um, they organise uh, five side football tournaments for particular diverse areas of the within the community. All sorts of things. So we want to sort of find out, explore more about that, and sort of and and showcase that really to a, to a wider audience, so that people can see that you know Wickham Wanderers isn't just about the the match days. It's also about very much the club has always been an integral part of the local community it's a family and i think when people see that and get that sense of belonging and that sense of you know wick and wanderers is for them um that, that that they'll sort of want to join in and come along to match days or indeed any of the other activities that go on in and around the club uh, like the stuff that the foundation does Anna, what would you say to anyone who's, who's keen to get involved um i think just go for it there's never really like anything wrong that you can do or like you know everyone's always there to support you um, and it's just a really good experience and it's like helped a lot with my confidence skills and like presenting um, yeah it's just it's a lot of fun as well I mean it's just it is really good and Bob I don't think we've mentioned how, how we can how we can get to watch this this show oh the sh it's available on YouTube um, so if you go to the YouTube channel if you search for uh, Wick and Wanderers Supporters Trust it's there um, or you can go via our website, um, which is www.st.org.uk. That's www.st.org.uk. Um, that's also uh, the email address, both whether you want to be a presenter or indeed whether you want to nominate a, 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 someone to receive those four match tickets as a local hero. You can write to win at www.st.org.uk. That's www.st.org.uk. It's a really great initiative and, and a really great um, sort of work from the trust, and uh, uh, which I'm sure you know as chair will we'll be going from strength to strength in the coming coming year as well. I hope so. And as I say, the real joy is seeing students like Ella and Freddie, you know, having fun, and at the same time, it's a win-win because at the same time as they're having fun and learning those production skills, those presenting skills, those oracy skills, um, and perhaps generating some some semblance of a show reel, perhaps like Ella, if they want to be a presenter of the future. That's that's a real. A buzz, um, but at the bonuses, obviously, at the same time, we can um, showcase all the good things going on at Wickham Wanderers and hopefully attract new fans and lapsed ones. Great to have you telling us about it on the radio as well. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Ella, have a great uh, holiday and uh, Bob, happy Christmas to you as well. Thank you, Colin. You too. A great chat to Ella and Bob, of course. Uh, Bob will be on the Wickham Wanderers show next week as well, uh, along with Alan doing the uh, the draw, the QVC draw, which has so far been done by famous people. Uh, but <laughs> he's coming to the Wickham Wanderers show. Uh, next week, uh, that's on the 28th of December. Uh, search online for more details about the Wickham Wanderers Supporters Trust and also uh, that uh, great new uh, YouTube show, Trust in the Blues, as well. <laughs>